Good day, hi ho kids, and welcome to our today's discussion. For today, our topic is all about sentence and non-sentence. And when we say sentence, it must start with a capital or a big letter. It must end with a punctuation mark. Your punctuation marks can either be a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. It must have a complete thought. When we say complete thought, it must have a subject and a predicate. Let's have some examples. Anna's favorite color is yellow. For this one, we started with a capital A, and that is a name of a person, Anna. And we have a period at the end of our sentence. Next, the monkey loves to eat bananas. For this one, we started with the word the, and the starts with the letter T, and over here we have letter T and its capital letter. And at the end of our sentence, we also have a period or a dot. Next, where do you live? For this one, the first letter is W, and as you can see, it is capital. And at the end of our sentence, we have a question mark because this one is a question. Let us now talk about non-sentence. And when we say non-sentence, it doesn't have a complete thought. Let's have some examples. Is talking. My brother. Let us now talk about the points to remember in this topic or a lesson. First, a sentence always starts with a capital and ends with a punctuation mark. A sentence has a complete thought and a non-sentence does not have a complete thought. That is all for today. Thank you and goodbye. Hi-ho kids!